multiple people have been messaging me about this game and I figured, all right, yeah, sure. Ima made a, uh, a post a while back. It was like, all of the Vine Sauce people as um, random characters from this series. The one that I was, I don't remember who everyone else was, was some gambler chick who, who just was like a fancy bitch. And I appreciated that because at my soul, I am a fancy bitch who likes gambling. The massive high school towers over all their buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world, and as far as the plot goes, it does. Hope's Peak Academy brings in top students from every field imaginable, a government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop to the... So, if you can only have, like, the best of anyone in certain fields, the best of the best, that means that, like... You have like five students? It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Cool. Uh, two, you have to be at the very best at what you do. How niche can you be? You guys know about that guy who, um, who's the guy who owns the world record for like longest time jerking off or most jerks off in a day or whatever it was. He's like a champion jerk off. Like, could he attend this school and that be his thing? Like, that's very niche. Nine hours. That guy could go here. He's the ultimate jerk off. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing at the gate of this ultimate school filled with ultimate students was me. Before we go any farther, oh. I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. I'm gonna completely forget that, but sure. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I don't really have much going on for me. In fact, I'm the top at being average. I'm the most average person to have ever existed. I'm an anomaly on how average I am. That's what makes me the best. I'm super fucking average. Hope Speaks only invites students who are the truly elite in their field. For example, incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. There's also the ultimate baseball star. There's the ultimate fashionista. They even mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. Yo, what? The ultimate dropout thug. Why would you enlist him to your school? What? On top of that, there's an ultimate martial arts, ultimate fanfic, ultimate fanfic creator, and the ultimate gambler. The ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. With all the ultimate students, I'm the only one without any worthwhile talent. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you've been selected and we invite you to join the ultimate luckies as the ultimate lucky- You bullshitting! You got invited out of pure luck. What? How convenient. No, that's not lucky at all. Then you're gonna go to the school and it's like, hey, what are you good at? Fucking nothing? Why are you here? I don't know, just lucky, I guess. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I don't belong there. You don't, kid. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said that there would be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. It makes sense that no one else would be here yet. I was so wound up that I got here way too early. I tried to play it cool and took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. It was my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least that's what I was hoping for. And then the drugs kicked in. But at this instant, I found my first step forward. My view became warped and twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away, mixing into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, and then spinning again. In the next moment, everything went black. And that's how it all began. That's how... Life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope Speak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair.
See, what they didn't know was I was the ultimate drug user. <clears throat> what? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. Knees weak, arms spaghetti. There's vomit on my sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. Gross. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? Some cheap kind of looking pamphlet. Fucking bullshit. Awful. Gross. Can't even believe they're, they're best of the best. Did they not hire the best of the best pamphlet maker? The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. What the hell? Is someone else? Is this some idea of the a joke? Reading words. Well, I can't read that. What is? Are the windows bolted shut? In any normal classroom, this is where the windows should be, but it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it with comically large bolts. <laughs> I should probably head back into the main hall. Well, I guess I'll just head to the main hall, he says out loud to himself. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Oh. Oh, by the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already here. Hey, wait a minute, people are here. Boom, galaxy brain moment. Whoa, hey, another new kid? Whoa. Okay, there's a lot going on here. The world's shortest skirts, the world's doofiest haircut, and the world's rippest anime girl? The fuck is happening in this shot? Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. I bet that's that fat fuck in the back. Please guess their talents. Okay. I'm gonna guess Ripped Chick is martial arts. I'm gonna guess that. I mean, I know a few of these people. The Drills Chick, that's the gambler. How's it going? My name's Toko. That. Which one is the most fuckable to you? They're all in high school, right? Like, even. Is that an auto gun on the fucking ceiling? What? It's like a dentist tool, but it's got guns on it, too. I'm sorry, I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened, and then I was all just fell asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too? If she's a bitch, I'm gonna kick Aima's ass. I'm just saying it right now. Keem's just... Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt... Are you the world's biggest nerd? The most ultimate loser? What is your fucking... I hate your face. Just a moment! There's something else we must address! Your tardiness is not acceptable, sure. The ultimate tool? Surely you were unaware of our meeting to smart AM Sharp. To be late on your first day is unacceptable! Unspeakable! I will report you! I will ban you! I will call the cops! I will have you shot in the streets! Okay, let's get the introductions out of the way, then can we move on to whatever else sound good? Still don't know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. Sticky note time. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. Okay, straight out of the gate, he's calling himself God, so. Oh, fuck you! Oh, I hate him already! Fat. Fuck. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Okay, you're the ultimate baseball star. What's wrong? Nothing, I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all, you're expecting some kid with a shaved head? Actually, I can be totally honest with you. I don't like baseball, like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He never practiced, but he was still the team's star player. He's some kind of prodigy. All right, you, you look way too fucking normal for this universe, so your thing is gonna be um, ultimate taxidermy. Oh, you're the pop chick. Okay, never mind. She's still- The way she moves is positive, positively mesmerizing. Pleasant scent. I can't quite pray, place. The smell in her is weird. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Did you hear me? Okay, she's psychic. Huh? 
Just kidding, I have really good intuition. She's a sharp hey, one. Uh hey, by any chance? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Did... Just hold on. Jeez, you guys, how long did you plan to waste our valuable time with ridiculous back and forth? I fucking hate you! Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not for bubbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Slut! Alright, um... Her thing, ultimate... Amish? Writing prodigy. Okay. She wrote a novel when she was 10 that everyone was talking about and got her launched into her literary career. Why even go to school? What's your problem? It's not polite to stare, you know. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature! You thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman. You thought it's so funny. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling you! Don't even bother trying to lie to me! Don't look at me! I'm ugly! Talk about inferiority complex. I was way off about what successful author would be like. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Oh, the ultimate stick in the mud. Oh, ultimate moral compass. How does one determine this? According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of Ultimate Moral Compass. You can call me Tsaka. You said your name was Moktko, right? That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. Your name is wonderful. I would fuck your name. Mondo. Mondo. The best girl. Nice to fucking meet you. Yes, he said the fuck word. That's so dumb. Nice to meet you too. Oh, I know this guy. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. That guy, right? Is this one? I remember him. Starhaven, Hi. thank you for five months I'm of support. Jugu and Ishima. Charmed, I'm sure. Ultimate fashionista. Anyone would recognize this one. I've seen her on a tons of magazine covers, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> well, of course, those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Of course they are, dude. Yeah, you know, edits the hell and back, like with computers and junk. So they're not real. Come on, don't act so surprised. You gotta make me all depressed. It's totally normal these days to photoshop the crap out of the cover photos. If you're surprised by that, and you'd be blown away by certain dangerous little divas are ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks ceramic and porcelain. So many dreams are getting crushed today. Alright, ultimate. Either she's probably the ultimate psychic or ultimate best girl detective. Can I ask your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Okay. Her face is like an iron mask. She doesn't want to tell me anything. No point in asking. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Programmer. Okay. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. She's got that little timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her a legion of fans. Ultimate soccer? Hey, uh, I'm Al Ultimate thick? But what is your definition of thick that gets you that? My friends just called me Hina. Sup? Swimming. Got it. She's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic candidate. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and uh, proportion proportions have been widely discussed online. Y'all are creepers. Well, one thing I've learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Alright, the ultimate gambler. I already know this one because... This is the girl that Ima said that I'm like. Time for best girl. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. What is that accent? Celestia Luden. <laughs> Ludenberg is my name, but if you don't mind, I would prefer if you just call me Celeste. Ultimate vampire. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course, why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants me to say anything more about it. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? Ultimate I I pothead. Really? Okay. Known as Supernova in the psychic community, is a trendsetter. Ultimate clairvoyant. 
Oh, uh, okay, I give up. What happened? I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. Guardian Angel with crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running out of the skyfish in his mouth. That Guardian Angel is your Guardian Angel. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into Lemura and civilization. We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? I'm actually 21. <laughs> Anyone thirsting after this guy, you're fine. Whatever. It's okay. It's not creepy because he's a fucking idiot. Name's Byakuya Togami. Uh, okay, we already had gambling and computer science and clairvoyant, so Chad is saying ultimate prick. I'm gonna go with that. Oh, you have money? What kind of fucking bullshit thing? It, what? That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. There really isn't anything I can do about it. Even amongst ultimate students, this one is special. He's already started managing business operations. The ultimate businessman would be good. His own personal assets are, well, fast. If he was a chick, that would be a double entendre. Because he's a dude, it just means we're talking about his dick. His title of ultimate affluent prodigy is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. His aura says you and I will never stand on the same level like a king in training. I am Sakura Ogami. Ultimate king of fighters. Yeah, I mean, oh geez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. Today I spent something on, yeah, you're gonna die if you say that. But now I remember, she completed the martial arts tournaments in America and won, despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She fought in 400 matches and never lost a single one. Some call her Ogre. Some even thinks that she's the closest known relative to primates, the famed missing link. I snapped to attention without even realizing it. She stared... She started to poke and prod at my body. What are you? Ice. The muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. What a shame. You're not fit to act as my training partner. Even though they're all called ultimate, they all seem to have their own sort of, um, something. Let's get down to business. Oh, that's true. I think they said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Well, you see, um, um, Toko, you just said a bunch of stuff just happened and then you just were asleep, right? The same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? Just after they got in the main hall, we all lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But that's just weird. Every one of us would get knocked out like that. Jesus, shit! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's why we're all freaking out. I bet this is all part of the school's orientation procedure. For someone who's clairvoyant, you're really dumb. But then it began. Now there's bear. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like ultimate despair. So I, hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at right now. Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. Time for best girl. What the hell was that just now? Well then, I think you'll excuse me. You just take off like that? I really took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I had before, I just couldn't get it out of my mind. So filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. Saul was waiting for us there. Hey there, howdy, hello. Is everyone here? Good. Then let's get things rolling. Cutscene. All right. Huh? A teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! And I... I am this school's headmaster. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Seriously, man, calm down. It probably just remote controlled toy or something. How? 
This song will trigger an emotional response by the end of the game. How dare you compare me to the child's playthrough? Okay, all right. My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or comprehend it. Now then, moving on. We really must hurry to get started. Now let us continue and commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit like what your soul life here will be like. Now make no mistake, you few students are so full of potential, represent the hope of the world. And to protect such a splendid hope, you all live a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. Everyone at this, everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to rules and regulations of the school. Now then, regarding the end date for this communal life. There isn't one. In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. What do you just say? Until the day we die? But fear not, we have quite an abundant budget, so you won't be a lack of common conveniences. Hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Yep, yep, yep. What the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? Not screwing with you, I am no liar. Of that, you can be 100% sure. Uh -huh. And for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond the walls ever again. Cut off? So all those metal plates all over the school? There to keep us trapped in? That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, no help will come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here in reckless abandon. I can wear no pants ever again. No one can stop me. Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whatever is behind it all. This is a really bad joke. Yeah, cut the shit out. It's not funny anymore. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke or a bunch of skeptics, all of you. When the time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Nope. Having to live here forever would be quite a problem. What's this? Come now. What is the matter with all of you? You decided on your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've decided you want to leave? Hey, um... But, you know... I guess I did for mention there is one way for you to leave the school. Really? Actually. As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. No. Let me tell you about this little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we have to rely on a communal lifestyle. So if someone here was to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? Well, you know, if that one person was to murder another. Murder? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, not clubbing or cubbing. You could have said cubbing. Doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. That is as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it all you're to achieve your best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. Like I said before, you guys are the hopes of the world, but you know... Taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Just find it all so exciting. What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other, it's, it's, to kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here around here if you need it. We know what it means. It's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Is that his only voice line? I hate Hamster Man. Can I just kill him? I have no problem killing him. I am Audi. Kill him first. Bounce done you guys just don't get it do you let's go let us go keep saying the same thing over and over again listen from this moment on your school is your home your life your world you got it you can kill as much as you want to kill so go ahead kill 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 killing spree dude shut the hell up and get out of my way shoving hero aside mondo places mondo is such a good name in front of Mutakuma. His voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What do you mean by... You son of a bitch. Fuck! Mondo roared out, and then all of a sudden, boom. He flew at Monokuma and fast and straight like a bullet. Gotcha, you little piece of shit. I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking sh- what? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Does that get him kicked out? Cause that's the thing he wants! Shut the fuck up! Yeah! Get me out of here, I swear to Christ! Hey, damn it! Piece of shit! 
Watch out. Huh? Hurry up and throw it. I don't know if her ferocity stunned him or into silence or without a word he did what he was told. He threw him. He threw him as soon as he did. The hell? What the? That sure as shit wasn't a joke. He blew the hell up. A painful ringing in my ears. I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, I've never seen anything like it. What? But you know, this means that the teddy bear has been destroyed, right? Hey. I told you I'm not a teddy bear, I'm Motokuma. There's another one? Damn. You son of a bitch, you seriously tried to kill me just now. Of I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school's regulations after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen. Huh? It's not even punishment, that's just wrong. Well, now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. Our official student's handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it the e-handbook. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Well, well, that brings our interest in ceremony to an end. Please... Enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and see ya! And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So, guys, how would you define what you just experienced? What the crap? I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever or kill? What just happened? Calm down. What happened? Everyone, we just need to calm down. Let's take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma just said, we essentially have two choices. Choice one is to... Uh, that... We each stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. The other choice is... If we want to get out of here, we have to kill someone, right? But killing someone, that's... Right now, it doesn't matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... Other words. Is there anyone who could seriously consider all this? Keep it quietly to myself. I looked around at the others. God, you can fucking see his fat from orbit. We all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. Almost as if we could taste the hostility. And then that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. For each of us, the suspicion of everyone else, we were forced to wonder, is someone going to betray us? The school, which came out of nowhere to raise my hopes high, had not been a school of hope, but a hope of... a, a school of despair. Oh, I knew it! Yeah! I'm good at this! Wow, short, short game. Surviving students 15. To be continued. Yeah, actually with my allergies and stuff, I'm kind of dying. Wait, is that really the end of the game? Just the chapter, okay. That's the prologue. 